Hello everyone, this is Ultar, and this segment is here to let you know that after about a year of producing content for Offworld Training Company, Mohawk Games contracted me out to do some QA consulting work for them. This video was made during the time that contract was active. Thank you for listening, please enjoy the video. Alright, hello everyone and welcome to game number one. Our best of three series between Soren Johnson and Dwimmy. It'll be a nice little 1v1 match here. We've got Glass and Steel starting off quite expensive with warehouses at the neutral colony. Everything else pretty normal except for iron, fuel, and silicon, which are all going to be a little bit cheap. Expect to see some iron-using factions coming down this game. Water is looking a little bit awkward here in that there are basically no effective adjacency bonuses outside of this small plot right here. And iron is looking uh, pretty easy, but there's only one really good plot. It would have been really interesting to see our first found happen up in that nice iron, ter or the aluminum territory, excuse me, to cut off the other players from aluminum. Instead, Soren is just going to be attempting to uh, run as a scientist this game, kind of ignoring that cheap steel price, and instead just says, I just want to make the expensive, the expensive steel. Which sounds just fine to me. He does also have presence of mind to just go into his three steel mills rather than focus too much on the aluminum. I think that's the right call. There is plenty of aluminum that is not going to be blocked this game as his opponent did not found on top of it. So he's able to cancel the mine, move into three steel mills as he would like to. Dwemi, on the other hand, pretty standard scavenger opening. Two carbon, one aluminum. Nothing too surprising about that. I don't have anything muted. Everything should be filtering to the correct place. I don't know what's going on. I'll try and figure it out later. All right. Both of our players, HQ2, it looks like here. Let's see what they're going to get up to. Water and aluminum for Soren. No big surprise there. Is this actually water? It is a water pump. This is why I was a bit surprised to see a scientist here. Yeah, you've got the steel. But you really don't have a lot else going on that says, hey, I'd really like to be a scientist this map. There's no good plot of water. It's just like this one little four tiles. But with pirates available, that's kind of dangerous. Soren does, of course, also have access to this adjacent geotherm. He could look at getting a patent lab. Potentially, this game is a scientist. Heading into Superconductor, always a bit expensive to do in 1v1. But it is an option if you like to commit to that. Glass kilns down for Dwemy is definitely a move that I like. I think that's going to accelerate him very effective to HQ level 3. Just making so much money off that glass he would like to sell it down. Or he can just hold on to it. Very easily pushed upgrades. This also should allow him pretty consistent access to the black market. Where it looks like he's already picked up a claim as has Soren. Dwemy then moves into a power surge. Not as effective against the scientist once again. But you can see he's still a decent freeze. Onto Soren's valuable steel mills. Not going to be a bad thing for Dwemy at all. HQ level 3 now for Dwemy. He is going to be moving into a little bit more water. Just wants to secure all the close water in his territory, it looks like. I think that's going to be the right move. Water is going to be pretty awkward to handle this game. So going ahead, getting it established, even though it's pretty cheap, makes a lot of sense to me. And then moving into those farms, also a very reasonable thing to do. Soren, meanwhile, he's sitting back on not much anything at the moment, it looks like. He's got some glass bought up, but he is having to, of course, purchase that glass instead of just make that glass. The glass being so expensive, this is proving a bit difficult for him to accomplish. And already, here come the pirates. Soren's going to move back into that water pump, see if he can get rid of these pirates. Make sure they're not going to cause him too much of a problem. Also, Soren being pretty heavily slowed down by the fact that he already moved into this geothermal plant. Not a bad idea, necessarily. It will provide him power, keep him from getting a ridiculous amount of debt. However, unfortunately for Soren, it did cost him a lot of resources, and this is a big part of why he's not HQ level 3 yet. 28,000 for a single claim. He is going to use that to just stomp these pirates, it looks like. And what are we going to see here? A steel mill. All right, then. Well, steel mill, nice and simple. Iron, not too expensive just yet. And perhaps something like a solar panel, just a bit too expensive at the moment. Of course, a steel mill only costing about 400. Oh, 
Well, Soren cancels it. Says never mind. Yep, got to actually finish that building on that tile in order for the pirates to be completely knocked out. Farms are up for Soren, but of course he is going to have to wait for shipments, whereas Dwemy, not waiting at all, has managed to reach HQ level 4. That's the advantage, not going for that power quickly. As long as you're building buildings that don't consume too much power, you're going to be just fine just continuing to press through, make actual money, and move on through the HQ levels to possibly winning the game. Soren, he's still pushing. He's almost there. Just needs a little bit more steel and aluminum at this point to clean things up. Can sell off a little bit of iron if he needs to. He'll be on HQ3 before too long. And of course, as a scientist, he will be able to use that pretty effectively. Well, selling down the aluminum is probably not going to do too much for him. He's just going to buy it right back up in a moment here. We'll save him just a little bit of cash potentially, but... Uh, Possibly not enough to have made a huge difference. There we are. HQ3 for Soren. I do wonder, though, is it too little too late? Do I mean HQ4 on about $30,000 of resources already? He's got a great amount of silicon. He's actually been selling down glass, which I think Soren was missing out on, possibly holding a stockpile that's just been dwindling the entire time. What else is Soren going to go for here? We have... Glass kilns coming out. Those shipping lanes always going to be a bit troublesome with these pirates potentially in the way. More pirates coming down from Dwimmy onto the food. Soren has another glass kiln established already, but unfortunately for him, it's basically just hanging out, burning money at the moment. That silicon price currently very, very high. Dwimmy relying on adjacency bonuses in order to keep his glass kilns profitable, but Soren without any of those for this one. And no free silicon in a little bit of trouble when it comes to that glass. All right, Dwemy establishing a nice triangle of electrolysis reactors. Already has the pair up. Also moving into electronics factories. I wonder, though, does Dwemy have the water for this? And I don't think he does. Unfortunately for Dwemy, this is where things might start to get a little awkward. He is establishing... An extra water pump on this medium deposit. That's going to be very important, I think. Because that will raise his water per second up to 5. However, he is consuming 5 per second in just his buildings. And then he has his life support cost driving up that price. That he's also going to have to be concerned about. Now, Dwemy is in so much of a lead. that There's actually a realistic possibility of him closing out this game. Before that becomes an issue. Dynamite on the geothermal plant, always nice to see. Power still up over $100. Soren's not going to be happy to see that. Di geothermal plants are just so expensive to manage to get down that that's never something you want to have happen. Dwimmy also operating on two of his own geotherms at this point. Very easily selling power back onto that market. Not going to make any money from it, but back in his A rating, as long as he's managing to maintain... And not too huge increase in debt. You can see he's beginning about 200 a second. He's going to be just fine to press through and win this game. Now, I do think that Dwimmy is likely one of our players that doesn't, doesn't mess about too much toward the end game. You can see that he's already pushed to most of the resources he needs to close this out. There is the possibility that Soren scrapes together what he needs to defend himself, though. So Dwimmy, not by any end just yet. I would expect him to start before too long. Is going to get down an optimization center, which is a bit of an interesting choice. And it looks like we're going to see a patent lab. So, well, forget what I said about messing about. Doing me apparently interested in exactly that. Just going to keep developing himself, developing himself. And I'm always concerned about seeing this out of our players. Because, of course, it does mean that you're giving your opponent kind of an opportunity to find an edge. A place to punish you. And especially with a scientist against a scavenger, there are places to punish when it comes to the on-world market itself. If you can drive that water price high, if you can make silicon inaccessible, suddenly you're cutting off access to a lot of important resources that you yourself as a scientist can still make. Because of course you're just pulling the water from the silicon for free. Now, one nice thing that Soren has done, besides giving up the game, which I didn't hear because I can't hear anything, 
one is established. If he's going to go for something that can get hit by pirates, he may as well go all in, right? May as well go all in. Can't pirate literally everything. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the game where we've already seen about $100,000 in debt go away on our reveal map mode because the game decided to start without us. On this map, we do, in fact, have one single patch of iron. And then not particularly good carbon, so I imagine we're going to see somebody found around here, about like forty, forty-two thousand dollars of debt. Might be appropriate. Grab up some of that iron. Of course, the steel is not very valuable, whereas the chems and the glass, those are a bit valuable. And then electronics is what has the neutral colony pressure being exerted on it. While, of course, food, fuel, iron, and steel all looking a bit weak so nobody really wants to Scientific found on this map and i can understand that perspective i don't really want to found on this map either so i can forgive the players for that sort of thinking it does look like we're going to have the same setup as last game these players seem to be playing to their preferred colony types rather than the map itself the Wimmy is going to be trying to survive on just a medium and low carbon tiles a bit weak but doable even in a 1v1 situation, he has also managed to pick up a medium aluminum deposit. Aiming for that instead of the high, which I guess is a little bit of a fuel savings. I don't know if it's worth it though. Worth it to go for the medium instead of the high when it's not that different realistically. Just something to think about. Doing being forced to purchase things, he's going to hit HQ level 2 quickly as expected of our scavenger. And his cheap, cheap carbon. Soren actually sold down glass for a moment. I see Soren is making glass at a glass kiln already this game. Don't know how I feel about that decision. I think I would have much preferred to see just a high water pump if you're going to go for something like that. You take the high water pump, you just start selling down the water, and it blocks your opponent from taking the high water pump, as we see happened here. Now, Soren did make the correct decision in making an effort to kind of reach out and block the ideal medium water pump from Dwemi, so that if he wants a medium water pump, he's going to have to move around. Now, one advantage to Soren's play is he has managed to secure two of the glass right on. next to his colony, two of the silicon right next to his colony, four glass kilns. Dwemi only gets one. Dwemi decides, by the way, that it is more valuable to give up the possibility of adjacency bonuses today, and he is instead going to simply block Soren from having his own adjacency. This is going to make glass a little bit difficult for Dwemi. Which means he's going to be stuck in Kim's instead. Which I believe is going to be, generally, a little bit weaker. We don't see a lot of Kim consumption in most 1v1 games. The price drops pretty rapidly. You can see Dwemi selling it off. He's making a profit, but this price is dropping. Whereas Soren, that glass is going to stay pretty strong from here on out. And so Soren's potentially setting himself up in a much stronger long-term position with the glass play as opposed to the silicon play. You can see that like the glass already worth 100, glass play as opposed to the chemical play. Chemicals worth 60, and that's just going to keep dropping, especially as fuel gets more expensive. All this said, Dwimi has managed to reach HQ level 3 once again first. Soren not quite to level 3 yet. He's actually a fair distance away, needs a lot of steel. Steel is quite cheap. He's actually probably going to be relying on a lot of aluminum, a lot of glass to purchase the, the steel he needs. I do find it interesting, Soren has elected this game, by the way, because of his kind of found location. He has stuffed himself in a corner where he only has the two steel mills. And I don't know if I'm that opposed to this, considering steel started off very, very cheap. He's still making enough that he's never going to put a whole lot of pressure on it. And he's not competing with anybody making steel like in the iron market at all. So, it's an interesting decision, but I think I like it. There has been a plot auction for a high aluminum tile. You can see with aluminum up at $77, both of our players seriously want this, uh, this extra claim available to them. So we are going to see that tile... Get auctioned off to Soren for 18000 He still only has $42,000 in debt. Not too shabby at all. Soren's going to grab that up. Soren also did mutiny away Dwemi's aluminum mine. And he did it at a very, very nice time in a lot of ways. Because he took this mutiny as Dwemi was focused on expansion. 
So maybe he's a little light on cash, maybe he's a little light on black market cooldown itself in order to take this back immediately. And of course, the aluminum itself, extremely valuable right now. It is only a medium mine, but it is still nice and valuable aluminum. Solar panel comes down for Dwemy. Nighttime on the way though. Soren is going to have the chance to respond potentially with solar panels of his own if he can scrape to cash together. Instead, Soren's just going to focus on getting this hydrolysis down. Didn't look earlier, but there are three geothermal vents. Always an option with steel starting cheap if you don't drive that price too high. It is definitely a possibility to uh, move into some geothermals in order to pay for your power. Now this solar flare, not going to really have a massive impact on things. Dwemy did manage to pay down a little bit of extra debt with it, but not too much. Without adjacency and only online for, oh, maybe about... 10, 20 seconds, realistically, and the solar flare will be gone by the time day comes once again. I do find it interesting that the solar flare effect sticks around at night. I just want to point that out. That's... It amuses me. You can still tell there's a solar flare going on. It's just the sun isn't shining. Don't worry about it. Geothermal coming up once again for Soren. We are going to want to see him defend that quite possibly. He does already have one mutiny stored that he could use as a counter mutiny which is reasonably effective EMP and circuit overload available this game though I think the goon squad is gonna be just about necessary long term for defending that geothermal plant Dwemy has actually goon squatted his solar panel oh mutiny is on to metal mines it looks like Dwemy gets targeted first and then Dwemy making the correct decision says all right you took my medium i'll have your high thank you very much i think that's a big mistake out of soren not watching the mutiny price correctly to identify what was going on and suddenly his geothermal is gone as well where did soren commit this black market cooldown i think it was to a claim just now we're going to check on that very quickly let's go ahead and see black market yeah, looks like a claim just moments ago, picked up by Soren. I'd have to call that a pretty huge mistake after getting this geothermal plant down power up at 259. That is not going to be pleasant for Soren long term. He's already in 83,000 debt. He's going to be pushing the line. Yeah, almost down into that B rating where he gets those 10% ticks. And once you're there, it's not too hard to slip down into C and start seriously tumbling out of this game on debt alone. Honestly, a pretty classic Soren play from what we've seen, but it would be good to avoid it if he has any interest in winning the tournament. Solar panel still doing nicely at one power apiece, but Soren, he does have the production to push through. I think this plays into what we were talking about earlier. A lot more pressure on that initial glass market that he got into than on the chemical market. Dwemy's had to make rotations. He has made to make black had to make black market purchases in order to stay in things effectively whereas Soren he just stayed in his glass made some black market purchases not as many as Dwemy though I th think in since we hit HQ3 and also relatively effective use of mutiny early on in HQ3 gets him a lot of extra aluminum under his belt makes life a lot easier for Soren to get to four first that said Dwemy not too far behind Soren's gonna once again have to do something to find an edge in here that'll really let him push through the game well I do like moving into this extra steel mill because he has managed to finally drive that steel price up been selling down glass and aluminum purchasing steel a lot selling down fuel oxygen food man we were talking about Kim's before Kim should be pretty reasonable to make at this point carbon almost non-existent fuel itself also not too bad if we check over here yeah, decent profit in those chem refineries, and that's exactly... Oh, they're chem refineries now, not chem labs. I don't think I even noticed that until this moment. I'm gonna... Mm. Uh, Dwemy gonna be the one to go ahead and move into chemicals. That mutiny has almost expired for Soren. Is he going to elect to defend it with a goon squad? Well, he's got it purchased. Where's that going is the question. The black market is online. We'll just have to wait and see. All right does in fact hit the geotherm it looks like so Dwemy gonna have to rely on his own solar panels but he's set himself up to be in a great position here overloads on to Soren definitely a strong move possibly might have been better 
to hit himself and Soren's farms at the same time. It does cut off a fair amount of cash, though, so I can't, I can't blame him for going after the steel mills. They're a nice, safe hit and still leave Soren in a massive amount of trouble when it comes to power. Not nearly enough flowing in. Dwimmy also has established a geotherm of his own over in the corner here, producing 2.8 surplus in power a second, making $500 a second in that market. That's really gonna explode Dwimmy toward HQ5, set himself up very nicely. It also allows him to knock this power price down before Soren establishes himself appropriately in that market, which makes it very difficult long term for Soren to actually pay down his debt. I think failing to goon squad this earlier, using this second mutiny on the metal mine here, two massive mistakes that have seriously cost Soren ground in this game. Well, that's a lot of money out of Dwemi's pocket, that thinking machine's for 28,000. I gotta say, I'm a little unsure about it, although with EMP and Mutiny still available and not too expensive, it won't hurt too bad long term. However, it was just straight cash that he paid for that thinking machine. It's $28,000 for that, as he was no longer receiving his power money. Almost got his debt paid down once again, so I'm talking Dwemi would be in a seriously terrifying position if he had let thinking machines go for 24. But I can understand wanting to, as a scavenger, make sure your opponent doesn't have access to that. Carbon scrubbing gone. That lets Dwimmy know that not only, not only is there a hologram on the board, but the fact that it is a patent lab. I like this overload by Soren, by the way. There is a little bit of a problem where it is a little bit nighttime right now. And of course, thinking machines protecting him quite effectively from these attacks Soren's dishing out. Those attacks won't last much longer. Soren now in D levels of debt. Gonna need to do something about that if he would like to have continued access to the black market. Energy Vault gonna help out a little bit, potentially. Just give him access to a little bit extra power when things are going wrong. Not a bad decision out of Soren, quite likely. What else is he gonna do, though? Nanotechnology is also available for Dwemi. He did pick that up in an auction earlier. Definitely worth pointing out. So as we move to the late game, where Dwimmy is likely to want to rotate between resources and find different things to do, he'll be able to do that quite easily. Dwimmy also finally taking advantage of his scavenger cooldown once again. Gonna take away this geotherm from Soren. Soren's just stuck in the mud. Has to pay down debt, has to get upgraded. Can't do both of these things at the same time. And Dwimmy, with just so much cash on hand, from this power market. That's really what's pushing him through this game. Everything else is acceptable, car and Carbon included, although he's the one that drove up that price in the per first place. It's really this power market that's allowed him to just accelerate through this game quite effectively. You can see everything else is only fairly moderate, and that's even with Carbon. Carbon, his best current resource at 200, but once again, he's the guy who pushed that in the first place. Claim auction, won by Soren for 7,000. Well, I mean, I can understand that decision. But he's already got several unspent claims that he's not able to use effectively. I kind of want to see him commit into a high iron tile with this. That would put him in a pretty decent spot for income. And of course, Soren's steel is still very valuable, but Soren's actual cash on hand. Not particularly good. Going after this slant drilling, I think, is a huge mistake. He's going to need those chemicals back if he wants to defend himself for even just one moment. But I don't see it happening. Dwemi knows he has the cash. He's actually committing to the kill this time. No messing about. Soren calls the GG. And Dwemi going to take the game and the series 2-0 over game designer Soren Johnson. Game developer, game designer, look, he's both. It's whatever. <sighs> it's good play by Dwemi. Really good use of the fact that he was a scavenger there. Black Market really just destroyed that game, let's be honest. Couple of weak decisions out of Soren that just... Power is such a fickle beast. It's so powerful sometimes. It really is. And power, power was that entire game. These players both choosing to upgrade quickly, then move into power, 
And when you make that kind of decision, you need to guarantee that that power is going to be online. Soren unable to do that. Dwimmy takes advantage. Tears on through to victory very, very easily from there. Soren also committing to a patent lab. That was a lot of money Soren just didn't have. An understandable decision. Picks up carbon scrubbing perpetual motion energy vault with it. I think would have been nicer to see perpetual motion earlier than we did in that play. Carbon scrubbing had its benefits though, tried to keep him in the game, but just too little too late. Very difficult to operate on a patent lab when you're already running so far behind 